Hi there, in this short lecture we will learn how to connect your Android phone to Windows operating system. You most probably know by this time Windows 11 also supports the Android applications natively on Windows 11. Now I'm talking about Windows 11, how can you connect your Android phone? So this is what we are going to learn, the connectivity between your Android phone or to operate your phone from Windows PC this lecture is going to you know explain how to do that let's say if you have an android phone you can actually link it with windows 11 pc so you could do that right away and we'll also do these steps one by one on a windows device you need to download an application called phone link uh, link to phone uh, so that's an application that needs to be downloaded and once you have phone link application you need to you know connect by following some wizard of course, you, your device should have the Bluetooth enable on Windows device. Then you also turn on the Bluetooth on your Android mobile phone. And you need to install an application called Link to Windows. So once you have the Link to Windows application, you should be able to make a connection by using these two applications. So let's actually give it a try side by side so i have already installed an application from a store called phone link this is the application now all i have to do is i have to run with a wizard to you know get started i also downloaded link to windows on my android mobile phone so uh, what i'll do is now i'll just click on get started and when i click on get started uh, it actually gonna ask me to you know accept the terms and condition in case if you have not logged in uh, it will ask you to log in with a microsoft account so the same account needs to be logged in on your phone as well as on your windows pc so in my case i have already logged into phone as well as on my windows 11 so on this case if you look at we we were actually gonna get started to we signed into windows uh, email id with the microsoft account and then we are going to pairing so to pair we just have to either scan so here it's actually giving here a, to take a scan so that take your phone and you know scan that code barcode so that it gets automatically paid or else you need to enter a pin code on your phone by opening the application from your phone so in my case link to windows application is already installed on my phone let me actually screen mirror that application for you to enter this code so i'm actually using something called any Desk application for my phone uh, so that you could see my entire screen as it is here so once i open this application it is actually asking me uh, I mean, I need you to go to the settings and then, you know, accounts, uh, make sure that, you know, you actually signed in. Okay. If you have a QR code, you can always scan it. Okay. That makes easy. Otherwise, you need to you know, just go to the application and then linked computers. So click on add computer within the application. Once you click on that, you have to enter the code that is showing on your computer. Once you have entered the code properly, you should be able to log in. I mean, that's that's nothing but a pairing option. So it's paid. So it might ask you some couple of questions. Once you have uh, clicked on OK, you can actually send text messages and receive text messages. Also, you can see your contacts. You can make a phone calls. You can look at your photos that have taken from your phone so all this is possible with this phone link application if you see here the linking is successful that's why we are getting your all set so the device is ready so now you can you know pin this to your taskbar if you want so i'm just pinning if i want i can you know look at all the notifications that are actually coming to my phone i can find out and see from a notification area and also as i said text messages can be sent and received photos can be viewed you can make a phone call also and you could see here uh, my phone serial number is coming up as well as the phone calls my photos text messages which I, of course i have blurred but i'm sorry you know those are confidential but yes these are all the possibilities of your application